The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the proper and safe mounting of an HCI TV with an HCI threaded stem onto a first choice flex arm. The tools that you'll need to accomplish this are a 4mm hex key, 5mm hex key, a 7 16 nut driver, the HCI brass 15 16 wrench, and some form of leverage tool, which you'll see in a moment. In this case, I'm using a large, very large flathead screwdriver. If this is a brand new arm, when you first get it, you'll put it into a wall bracket, you'll open the cap up, and you'll see you'll have this retaining collar here. We don't need that in this case, because the HCI set comes with its own retaining collar, so we're going to first remove that in preparation to for the arm to receive the TV. You take your 7 16 nut driver, and remove that and you can just lift up on the collar and hold on to that collar the 7 16 screw and the, the uh, lock washer you can use those for other things and the TV or the arm is now prepared to receive the uh, HCI TV when you first unbox an HCI television it will have its own retaining collar and the 15 16 inch nut here just simply back that off so that it's free from the stem and the collar can come up. We're going to need that to, in order to feed the collar onto the cap screw here. When you look at the HCI stem, notice too that there's an engineered notch at the rear of the stem. That notch, again, must be at the rear when you slide the TV on the arm, and that notch will wrap around the head under here of this cap pin, right under there. So we can now take the, the TV, holding it so, putting that notch, engineer notch towards the back and feel it fit right over that cap pin head. The collar now falls into place over top of the 7 six, cap pin here. You can now move your 15 16 inch bolt down make a few turns trying to ensure it doesn't cross thread so that's tight and you can now let go of this, the TV take your 7 16 lock washer and bolt that we had put aside and put that onto the cap pin and tighten with your nut driver now we want to tighten this big 15 16 inch bolt. We're going to use the HCI tool for that and we're going to feed our cables all the way through the very top of this tool and put the tool over top of the bolt. You must make sure these cables are all the way through. If they're a little short when you do that you can just pull up on them they'll come through because we don't want to prevent any damage that we might do if we with either one of these connections when we put our leverage tool through. Here's our leverage tool. We're going to feed that through the two large holes on the HCI brass tool holding your TV here and you can turn that, that bolt and you can see the cables turned a bit so we don't want to spin them too much and we want to prevent any damage. So we're just turning that a half a turn to let the cables come back. Repeat that again. Let the cables come back, make sure there's no damaging the cables or pinching. Tighten that. It takes a little bit of effort. We're getting there. It takes usually four or five turns. You want to get it all the way down on that stem, right down so it's snug. Looks like we're going to do about eight turns here. Okay, it looks like we've got it. Let's do one more. There we go, it's snug. Okay, our cables are safe. They're not damaged. They haven't been spun. And we can now feed cables back through and put our tool aside. It's time now to make our connections. The F connector threads on.
like so. You can do that finger tight. And if you're using a system that requires the data connection, you'll need a data coupler. If not, you can just tuck those in. In this case, we'll put a coupler on. You hear that snap. And from the other side, just pull, make sure the connections are tight. Tuck all this into the cap. And you can now close your cap. Well, there we go. We're going to make sure all the cables are in there, not pinching. Okay. Now we want to mount our pin here. We're going to remove it from this part of the arm back here that was holding the arm. It serves as a brake to prevent the arm from springing out when you're working with it. It's now safe to remove that pin. And we slide that there. And this side, you can't get it wrong. It only fits on one side. Oops. Oh, there we go. I got a bit of cable pinched here, so I got to remove the pin, get the cables in there. And with your 4mm and 5mm hex key, just make that just snug. And you're now fully mounted on the flexor. Thank you.